the opposite, where there's no variability. So when I was talking about my cortisol being in the dirt, that's under variability. So there's two sides, either over or under. So the more patterned the variability, the more chronic anxiety. The more chronic anxiety, the more turbulence in the brain activity. He talks about it in terms of turbulence, and you'll, and you'll see this a little bit. So optimal brain function is poised, effortless response to the facts of the moment, taking in consideration memory, taking in consideration the, faith, fact of the facts of the past, but them not running the show. Take them in, they're part of the resource, but in the moment is when the action is. You see that? Yeah. I was just going to say, I just want to be with you. When you say that there is, there is less feedback coming from you, um, on the on the side of the of the of the person that uh, in, engaged in the feedback, uh, is that person talking? Is that person? Um, uh, good. Thanks for asking that. Um, either way, um, I kind of usually do both. There's a little bit of difference in people doing it without the feedback, but you don't need consciousness to do this. You don't need to. The brain can do just fine. Yeah, in other words, you don't have to prompt with words. No, right. you can. I mean, it's not that people don't talk while they're doing it. Yeah. Not, ne not necessary. Well, at all. But the reason I was asking that is because if if you put the content, then uh, you put an anxiety content content in there, then that should show. <coughs> or not? Um, a little bit. It shows more chronic anxiety, I, say, I would say, and less uh, anxiety in the moment. 